good morning students this is the video actually this is a tutorial video for the lists in html so as you know we have to start with notepad you can open the notepad from shortcut keys with the help of shortcut keys or another way may be there that you have to click on start panel and where you will find all programs and then accessories and then you can open notepad you will see over here somewhere this is the notepad from here you can open there are two ways that uh, will help you to open the notepad and here you have to type the html document means to say you have to create and type the tags which are required for the particular purpose so today we are because today we are going to know about how to insert a list in our html document so we are going to know as i have told you earlier that i have already typed the whole document for you so now i am going to show you where this is part 12 first this is the result we are not required to do. yes this is <clears throat> yeah so let us see what in this video we will learn how to insert list in a web page so just see this is the format as i have told you earlier and something we would you know increase the size of uh, the things which it is not font and we have to increase the size now we will see clearly actually so that is why i have done it Yeah, HTML head title, all these are fundamental tags which you have to use while you are creating an HTML document. Now you will see good morning to the student and this will be shown in your web page clearly in the beginning. And then you will start UL as I have explained in the video. UL means unordered list. If you will start it, it is not mandatory, it is not necessary that uh, at first we have to use unordered list, no. At first we have to use unordered list, no. It is the requirement of the web page. If you want to use ordered list first, then you can use OL first. And if you want to use UL, then you can use UL first. There is no problem. But the method is there which you have to keep in your mind. First of all, you have to use UL tag and then to denote and to refer the list item, you have to use LI. This is LI. You know, each time, each uh, item should be denoted with the help of LI tag. No matter it is how many items are there in your list. It is, it does not matter at all. If you want to give the bullets, in your list then you have to use unordered list if you want to give numbers like one two three first second third a b c d like this then you have to use ordered list this is the thing that you have to keep in your mind definitely so the next thing is there li this is the next li the third item is itself and this is one more thing which i have explained in the video and also i am telling you that this is UL have been started from here and again UL without closing UL, UL though UL is a container tag, it should be closed first and then again UL is started. If you will do so, if you will close the UL tag and then you will again start UL, then two list, two unordered list will be there. But if you want to list within the list, then you have to use nested list that is called nested list then you have to use without closing ul you have to again 
start jewel just you are seeing and this list two items will be shown within the first list this is the three these are the three items you will see in the first list and in the second list you will see these are two items you will see and then two times you have to close because this ul you have to close and again ul you have to close and next we want to show we want to insert numbered list this is called ordered list in ordered list there are three items and uh, something is left over here in in the next list and you will see the first item in numbered list this is and second item the second item li they are also called order list this is the third item then you have to close uh, ol and p and then body and html and as you know you have to save it with the extension dot html and then you have to you know access it through a web browser now i want to show what i want to show the result of this how we can you know see all these things on the web page so i am going to show you the result of this demo codes and now i will show you this is the now you can do the double click on that or one other way is there just open your web browser then click on file menu where you will find open then you have to give the path of the html document that was the process but that was a long process you can just you can do a click on the particular web page and now you will see the result this is the result now once again you will see what we have given just now uh, this is the you know text which we have given without any without any tag uh, tag of listing without any tag of listing so that is why this is the this is the this is the text has been given without any bullet or without any number as i have told you there are two kinds of list numbered list and unnumbered list this is unnumbered list this is also known as unknown as unordered list and this is ordered list this is also known as numbered list now you will see you have and this list the two items you can see these two items are also a, is a list but these are this list is under or within the first list so that is called that is why it is called nested list and this is ordered list so thank you and have a nice day this was all about ordered and unordered list thank you